how do you create an awning where there once was none? We're gonna take a look at it. So we have learned a lot about these, uh, these big bunk trucks um, since we've got this one. We've had it for almost a year now. <clears throat> and um, one of the things that we learned pretty early on was that you could get an awning for these. Um, you know, we bought ours off from a dealer's lot and um, it was specced how that particular dealer ordered it. Um, but there's options to these things. And one of them is an awning. This is what I've engineered for now. But when you get one from the factory across the whole top side of the sleeper, you can get an awning. Um, and they come out 10 feet from the, uh, from the side of the truck and they're, they're totally automatic. You just push a button on the inside of the truck and, uh, and it rolls out. Um, we can still have that installed on our truck and, uh, and we more than likely will. But this is what I've done in the meantime. This comes from my, uh, my backpacking years. I've taken my silicone nylon, my sil nylon 10 foot by 10 foot backpacking tarp, which weighs absolutely nothing. And I bought a few things from Walmart. This right here came out of the, uh, um, the bathroom section at Walmart. And it's a suction cup handle for like in your shower or in your tub. Um, the handles split open and you just stick it to whatever you want and, uh, and squeeze the handles closed and it creates a, a really tight suction cup um, grip against whatever you stick it to. So I've got two of those. Let me see if you can see the other one on the other end. I'm not sure if you will or not, but I've got one on each end. So then I went over to the paint section at Walmart and I bought these poles and what they are is adjustable paint roller handles. Let's see what it says on these things. Um, they adjust from four foot to eight foot. It's just an extension handle. So that way I can adjust this, uh, the, the front of it to whatever height that I want. And um, then I've, I bought some paracord and you see up in the top here, I've just attached the tarp to that handle with a section of paracord. And then I made some loops in the front here on the, uh, on the tarp right here. And I just set those over the end of the pole. And then I've got another section here with another loop in it. And I went over to the camping section and I bought some tent stakes. They're anodized aluminum tent stakes where I could just tap them into the ground. But this place that we're at this weekend, I found a, uh, a cinder block broke in half. So I just used that cinder block. But um, it actually works really good. It, uh, it packs up to nothing. You know, the poles um, slide down and I can just put them up in uh, one of the, uh, the long cupboards in the truck. That nylon tarp uh, compresses down to absolutely nothing. And uh, so for right now, <laughs> I've, uh, I guess you could say I've rednecked the heck out of it, but it actually works pretty good until we can um, go ahead and get one of those factory installed awnings that goes across the whole top of the sleeper. This is working pretty good for right now.